Good morning, New Canaan High School. I'm Molly Joyce coming to you live from the NCTV studio. Today is Friday, March 22nd, and a day F. And I'm Katie Cabrera filling in for Jack Howard. Molly, it is great to be back here with you again. We have many announcements for you today, but before we get to those, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you're watching us from your second period class, you are in the wrong place. All students should be in their advisory class right now. If you're not in your assigned classroom, assignment lists are posted throughout the school. All students have been placed in small groups by grade and have each been assigned a mentor. In these groups, you will discuss a variety of topics that are relevant to us as NCHS students. But due to this meeting, there has been a minor schedule change. The special schedule for today, each class is 44 minutes, and after this advisory meeting, you will go to your period two class the rest of the day, and it will be a normal day F with each class lasting 44 minutes. Have you ever wondered what life after high school might be like? If you're still thinking, you should check out Career Night. Junior Tess Decker has more information on this special event. NCHS. Are you interested in being an FBI agent, makeup artist, or a producer for SNL? Maybe you have no idea what you want to be when you're older. Either way, you don't want to miss out on this year's career night. You have all seen flyers hanging around school this week. Career night is this coming Wednesday, March 27th from 7 to 9 p.m. It only happens every two years and is a great opportunity for students to explore possible careers. There will be approximately 70 speakers representing 24 different careers, many of which include NCHS alums. For an entire list of exactly who will be there, visit the Career Night website, which can be accessed from the NCHS homepage. Each speaker will talk about their profession, how they got into their specific field, and answer any questions you might have. So this Wednesday, take a break from your schoolwork and come explore what you want to do after high school. Thanks, Tess. The spring drama show Beauty and the Beast is now playing. If you missed last night's performance, it's not too late. You can catch the show again tonight at 7 or tomorrow's matinee at 2 or 7 p.m. Tickets are now on sale at www.newcananhighschooltheater.com and will be on sale from 11 to 2 today in front of the auditorium. Mezzanine seats are $12 while orchestra seats are $15. For all the little princesses out there, there is a tea party package for $28 tomorrow before the 2 o'clock showing. Sounds great, Molly. Molly, this week has not felt like the start of spring at all. It's barely gone over 40 degrees and there's still snow on the ground. That's true, Katie, but our spring athletes still took to the field for tryouts. Here with a preview of boys' spring sports is Brendan Baker. Brendan, it's all yours. Oh, thank you, Molly. Welcome, NCHS, to a boys' Spring preview edition of the Rams Sports Report. Even though the weather has yet to warm up, tryouts are in full swing. We begin this morning with the baseball team as they head into the 2013 campaign, coming off a trip to the state title game last June. The boys promise to be strong again this season with the return of catcher Casey Olette, center fielder Andrew Casale, and ace right-hand pitcher Dan Rakowski. Meanwhile, boys lacrosse is also dealing with high expectations following back-to-back -back appearances in the state final the past two seasons. But with the expectations also comes change. NCHS graduate and former Princeton Tiger Chip Buzio takes over the helm as head coach. Now, boys tennis might be coming off four straight state crowns, but making a racket in the postseason this year won't be easy. The first eight days of the schedule are packed with juggernauts. Staples, Richfield, and Greenwich. Boys Volleyball looks to spike the competition in their second year of varsity play. Boys Golf, led by Will Essex, have their sights set on birdieing FCAC and state championships. But if the boys are going to capture postseason lore, they must get past powerhouse Greenwich. Finally today, practice began this week for Boys Track, ahead of their first meet of the spring on April 3rd. Well, that's going to about do it for the Rams Sports Report for this Friday. Johnny will be here next week with a preview of girls sports. For now, of course, I'm Brendan Baker. Oh, it's great to hear from you, Brendan. Jeff Sharp, an NCHS class of 97 alum and founder of nonprofit organization Sustainable Summer, is running two summer adventures to Ecuador. Students who are interested in learning about sustainable development and organic farming should consider the trip. If you're curious to find out more, attend the information session at the Outback Teen Center on March 28th. 
All teachers and classes are invited to an informal concert program performed by the Jazz Ensemble and Band on March 27th and March 28th during first lunch at 11.05. This fun and entertaining performance will be in the auditorium and will showcase many different genres of music including funk, swing, and rock styles. This performance showcased the talents of so many NCHS students, so come and listen to their hard work. There are bake sales galore throughout this next week. There will be a Smiles for Smilo bake sale today at the top of the stairs, a Shoebox Dreams bake sale Tuesday, and the Build On Club will be selling their delicious goodies next Thursday. With so many opportunities to satisfy your sweet tooth, you better stop by. If you want to showcase your talent in writing, make sure to submit your pieces to the Spectator Literary Magazine. The deadline is April 8th, so make sure to finish up your last minute edits and to send your pieces to ncspectator at yahoo.com. Prom season has been in full bloom since the beginning of the month, but next week, junior prom tickets are officially on sale. Tickets are $75 each and will be sold during the next two weeks. If you don't already know, prom is April 5th. For one special reminder for juniors, everyone who is interested in taking someone who is not from NCHS, remember to have your date fill out an emergency form before purchasing your tickets. Wow, Katie, I can't believe that prom season has already begun. Spring weather must be coming soon. Well, Molly, unfortunately, there is still winter weather lingering this weekend. Today will be partly cloudy with a high of 42 degrees, Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 44 degrees, and Sunday will be mostly sunny with a high of 47 degrees. Sadly, it is almost the end of this week's morning announcements, but as always, if you have anything that you want to see on the channel, please email us at nctv78 at gmail.com or tweet at us at nctv78. I'm Molly Joyce. And I'm Katie Cuvera. Stay tuned for a peek at why Career Night is such an interesting and exciting event for everyone at NCHS. Bye. Um. I don't know yet, but um, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Um, oh, um, I, uh, I want to be. I don't know.